Jew by name. Welcome to Geobite. Hi students. Today let us see introduction to decimals. What is a decimal? Yes, a decimal is a number which is in the form of something like this. Right? I have a number and also a point in between. This point is nothing but decimal point. This point is decimal point and this number, this whole number, we call it as decimal number. Right? So, these are decimals. Now, let us see multiplication of decimals with whole numbers. Right? Let us take a whole number 2 into a decimal number some 22.4. Right? Now, we will multiply these two numbers. Before multiplying, we will remove this decimal sign for multiplication. That is for easy way. I will show you. Write directly 224. Instead of putting this decimal point, I have written 224 into 2. Right? Now we will multiply. 4 2s are 8. 2 2s are 4. 2 2s are 4. We got 448. Now, if you see here, we have a decimal point before one digit, right? Before one digit, we have decimal point. In answer also, before one digit, we will put a decimal point. That is, answer is 44.8. As we have decimal point before one digit, in answer also, we will get decimal point before one digit. Let us see another example. Let us say some 22 into 114.26. Now, we have a whole number and a decimal. Now, we will remove this point and multiply 11426, right? 11426 into 22. I have removed the point and written. Now, 2 6 are 12, 2 2 s are 4, 5, 4 2 s are 8, 2 1 s are 2, 2 1 s are 2, into 6 2 s are 12, 2 2 s are 4, 5, 4 2 s are 8, 2 1 s are 2, 2 1 s are 2, 2, 7, 13, 11, 5, 2. Right? We got such a big number. But here we have decimal point before two digits. Similarly, in this answer also, we will get decimal point before two digits. That is 251372. Right? We will get a point before two digits. That is here. Now, let us see. Multiplication of decimals with powers of 10. Right? 10, 100, 1000 and so on. Now, we will multiply decimals with these numbers. Let us take some 12.42 into 10. Right? 12.42 into 10. We can multiply these two numbers. 12, 4, 2 into 10 and can find answer and put the decimal point later in the answer. But when powers of 10 are there, there is simpler way to solve. That is, we have 1, 0. Right? In 10, we have only 1, 0. So, the decimal point moved towards right. That is, after 1 digit. The answer is 124.2. Right? When 10 gets multiplied to the decimal, 
this point moves towards right that is after one digit since we have one zero. Now let us see twelve point four into ten. In this condition, same the point moves towards right after one digit one twenty four point since we have no number here we can write zero right here we have number we have written point two since we have no number after four we have written zero so the answer is one twenty four right these are two conditions now we will do with some one twenty four point six five into hundred in this condition if you see we have two zeros in hundred we have two zeros so when we multiply the decimal with hundred the point moves right after two digits one twenty four six five point we have no number after five since we will write zero so one twenty four six five point zero now let us see some sixty two point five three five in two thousand right we have three zeros in thousand now if we multiply thousand to this decimal the point moves towards right that is after three digits six two five three five point zero since we have no number after five, we have put zero. So the answer is six two five three five. These two are the conditions which are similar to this. After point, we have zero. We can also do it in this way. That is, let us take this number only one twenty four point some six five six into hundred. Now. We have two zeros here, so the decimal point moves towards right after two digits. That is one two four six five point six. The point moved after two digits, so we got point here. The leftover number is six. This is the answer. Now one twenty four point six five six seven. Let us take this number and multiply with thousand. Now, since we have three numbers, that is three zeros here, so the point moves towards right after three digits. That is one twenty four six five six point seven. The point moved after three digits. We got the answer like this. So this is the way to multiply decimals with powers of ten. Now let us see. Multiplication of decimals with decimals. Let us take two decimals, some fifteen point five into eleven point six. Now we will multiply one fifty five into one sixteen. I have removed decimal point and multiplied. After getting the answer. We will put the decimal point. Now six fives are thirty. Six fives are thirty plus three, thirty three. Six ones are six plus three nine. Into one fives are five. One fives are five. One ones are one. Double into one fives are five. One fives are five. One ones are one. Zero five plus three eight five plus five ten ten plus nine nineteen five plus one six six plus one seven one right we got one seven nine eight zero now where we have to put the point see we have point here and here when we multiply see you assume that. Point is coming here, so we have two digits. 
Similarly, we will get point before two digits. In multiplication of two decimals, we will see from back side that is reverse. When we multiply decimals with powers of 10, we have gone towards right. Now, we will come towards left that is from the back. We have two digits, right? We have put the point before two digits. That is, we got answer 179.80. Now, let us see with more two decimals. That is some 1.124 into 2.27. Right? Now, we will multiply these two decimals. That is 1, 1124 into 227. I have removed the decimal point. Now I will multiply. 7 fours are 28. 7 twos are 14 plus 2, 16. 7 ones are 7 plus 1, 8. 7 ones are 7 into 4 twos are 8. 2 twos are 4. 2 ones are 2. 2 ones are 2. Double into 2 fours are 8. 2 twos are 4, 2 ones are 2, 2 ones are 2. Now, 8, 8 plus 6, 14, 8 plus 8, 16, plus 4, 20, plus 1, 21. 7 plus 2, 9, 9 plus 2, 11, 11 plus 4, 15, 2 plus 2, 4, plus 1, 5, and 2. We got this answer. Now, where to put the point? See, we have 1.124, 2.27. After point, we have 3 digits here and 2 digits here. 3, 2, 5 digits. Right? 3 plus 2, 5 digits. We will put point before 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That is, answer is 2.55148. 2.55148. Right? You know how to put the point. Right? We have 3 digits here and 2 digits here. If we add 3 plus 2, we got 5. From reverse, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have put the point here. Now, let us see division of decimals with whole numbers. Right? Let us take a decimal 12.5 divided by a whole number 4. Right? I have taken a decimal and a whole number. Now, we will divide these two numbers. First, we need to write this 12.5 as 125 by 10. Because in multiplication, we have written 12.5 into 10 as 125. Right? We have put this point one digit towards right. So, here we have to remove this decimal point. So, we need to divide 10 to the number 12.5. Then it becomes 125 by 10. See, multiplication is reciprocal of division, right? So, it becomes like this. Now, divided by, we have 4. We can write 4 as 4 by 1. 4 by 1 is also 4. So, now we will divide these two numbers. 125 by 10 whole divided by 4 by 1. Right? 125 by 10 whole divided by 4 by 1. Now, you know as in fractions condition, the reciprocal of this will be written. 125 by 10, the sign changes from the division to into this 4 by 1 will be written as 1 by 4. 
When we convert from the decimal to the fraction, the procedure is same as similar to the fractions where we have done division. Right? Now, 125. 125 ones are 125 by 10 fours are 40. We have multiplied the numerators and denominators. Now we will furtherly solve it. 5 eights are 40. 5 twos are 10. 5 fives are 25. We got 25 by 8. Right? Like this we will solve decimals with whole numbers. After changing into fractions, the remaining process is same as similar to the fractions where we have done division. Now, let us see division of decimals with powers of 10. Let us write 10, 100, 1000 and so on. Right? Now, we will divide decimals with these numbers. First, let us take some 26.2 divided by 10. Now, how will we divide this? See, I am taking the same numbers 26.2 into 10. In multiplication condition, did you remember that decimal into 10 is nothing but the point moves towards right after one digit. Right? The answer of this is 262.0. Right? This is in the case of multiplication. In division divided by 10 means we have one zero here. The point moves towards left. Towards left that is towards left before one digit. The answer is 2.62. As the point moved towards left, it came here. The answer became 2.62. Right? Now, let us see another one. 35.74 divided by 100. We have two zeros here. Right? Now, this point moves towards left before two digits. That is, before two, two digits means 5, 3. Before 5, 3 what we have? Nothing. So, 0 0.3574. As after 2, we don't have any digit. We have kept a point and a 0. Here, before 3, we don't have any digit. We have put a zero and then a point. Right? This is the answer. Let us take for the thousand some 76.859 divided by thousand. If you see, we have three zeros. Right? Now, the point moves towards left before three digits. We have only two digits. We assume a zero is there in front and the point moves three digits towards left that is 0 0.076859. It moved three digits before and we have put a point here before we have a zero. Right? Now, let us see some 356.54 divided by 1000. In this case, we have three zeros. We have three digits. The answer becomes 0 0.35654 as the point moved towards left before three digits. Before three digits, we have nothing. That's why we have put zero here. So, this is how we will divide decimals with powers of 10. And you remember one condition. In multiplication, the point 
will be moved towards right. And in division, point will be moved towards left. Only in this powers of 10 condition, these two conditions are applicable. In multiplication, point will be moved towards right. In division, Point will be moved towards left. Juba.